After what executives had deemed a complicated financial transaction, Brookfield and its partners on Tuesday announced two agreements aimed at positioning the luxury Atlantis Paradise Island Resort for future success. These include the completion of a $1.9 billion recapitalization coupled with the appointment of a new property manager. Managing Director of Brookfield's real estate finance partners, Andrea Balkin, explains. We have obtained a $1.75 billion seven-year loan on the property um, from a consortium of banks, pension funds, as well as sovereign wealth funds. This transaction enables us to put the financing to bed for a period of seven years and enables Mr. Marcantonis and the team to really focus on our primary mission, which is a first-rate hospitality asset, which we continue to invest in um, and which we can continue to drive more and more satisfied guests to. Brookfield has created a wholly owned subsidiary called Brookfield Hospitality, which will assume management of the mega resort once Brookfield's contract with Kirsten International expires on September 9th. Brookfield Hospitality will be led by George Marcantonis. Marcantonis has served as Atlantis's president and managing director for the past eight years. I think the important thing for everybody, particularly our employees is and our guests, is to know that there will be a seamless transition. The people that everybody is dealing with now will continue to run the Atlantis um, as Brookfield employees, you know, for the for for the near term. Prime Minister and Minister of Finance Perry Christie touted Brookfield's new arrangement as an enormous manifestation of confidence both in Atlantis as a successful business and in the local economy. The size of this transaction is an incredible accomplishment in today's challenging global economic environment. It confirms the forecast of a bright future for our tourism industry, in which Atlantis is the largest private sector partner with some 8,000 employees. My government has worked cooperatively and tirelessly with Brookfield and or its partners to approve and grant the necessary permits for the refinancing transaction on terms and benefits similar to those granted at the time of Brookfield's acquisition of majority ownership from Kersner in 2012. According to Mr. Christie, Brookfield has further agreed to the following. That there will be no reductions in staff at the resort during the current ownership. Two, the resort will continue to be operated as a world-class facility and maintain high standards. Three, Bahamian contractors, labor, materials, supplies, etc., would be utilized to the fullest extent at the resort. And four, in making more facilities available for Bahamians, suitable arrangements are being put in place for playtime and preferred fees for members of the Bahamas Golf Federation to utilize the Paradise Island Golf Course. The Prime Minister added that Brookfield and Access Industries will now have to concentrate on upgrading and expanding facilities at both Atlantis and the Ocean Club. Reporting for JCN News, I'm Greg Smith.